The 18th century was the birth of neoclassicism, where artists studied and exemplified the classical era of the Greeks and Romans. This movement arose in opposition to the decorative and gaudy styles of the Rococo and Baroque, which infused society with a vanity art culture. The primary neoclassicist belief was that art should express the ideal virtues in life and impart a moralizing message. Additionally, the main subject matter of artwork turned to history, including biblical and mythological scenes. Let's take a look at this painting by Jacques-Louis David. David presented the suicide of Socrates as an admirable and noble act. Set in the bare scene of his prison cell, the muscular body of the aged philosopher is meant to convey his moral and intellectual fitness. His arm is raised in an oratory gesture, lecturing until his last moment. While David draws inspiration from Plato's account of his death, he idealizes Socrates, placing visual emphasis on logic and intellectualism. Neoclassicism influenced painting, as well as sculpture, architecture, and the mindset around what beauty should be in art. Strong and simple lines defined most of neoclassical art and architecture. Behind me is the Pantheon, the vertical lift of the columns contrasting with the strong horizontal lines creates an overwhelming effect of orderly grandeur dominating the view of Paris. There became a renewed interest in philosophy, mathematics, and symmetry that persisted well beyond the 18th century. You can see remnants of this style in contemporary buildings, like the British Museum in London. You can find out way more at theartstory.org. See you there!